Hi everyone, Adrian from Audio Excellence Canada. We're going to do the unboxing of the new Inuos um, Phoenix Net, which is an audiophile grade network switch. Um, we just got this. I've, it's, they've released it for a few months now, and for some crazy reason, I thought I had ordered a bunch. Turns out I did, in fact, create the order on my computer, but I forgot to tell the agent. So, anyway, finally arrived. Um, we'll get into the reasons as to why you may want a very good quality network switch. We've used a whole bunch of different network switches and the good ones are amazing. They can make a big difference in the sound quality. So double box as typical with any of us. Comes with a nice cloth bag. Okay, so quick start guide, generic Ethernet cable, power cord in there, and that's the unit. Now for a network switch, this is uh, surprisingly heavy and robust, as is typical actually of um, Inuos, they're so well made. Um, we started carrying in, it was about three, four years ago, and um, in my opinion, they offer the finest value proposition of streamers and servers out there. Quality and performance is out outstanding. So let's start with the back. You have four Ethernet ports and the power. And if you come close, you'll see that the Ethernet ports are not your normal type Ethernet ports. This is, appears to be metal, and it is assembled to the chassis using silicone, so it reduces vibration. One of the things that you will notice about uh, Inuos is that they pay a tremendous amount of attention to reducing any kind of interference and noise. So, and then while we've got this, we'll turn it around and you will see on the bottom, nice uh, isolation feet. And that's where the transformer is uh, mounted. Okay. And as you can notice, I've ordered it in silver. I really like silver and this is beautifully done. You can also get it in black. Okay, so let's talk about the different specifications. The Inuos Phoenix Net is designed from ground up. This is not some regular commercial quality switch that somebody rebrands. They actually designed this from ground up. Minimize network switch noise by using a simpler 100 megabits per second chip. And so this is interesting. These days you can buy gigabit chips, uh, uh, sorry, switches for very little money. So why are they using megabits per second? And that's because as far as Inuos is concerned, it has much lower noise floor compared to gigabit. And since you're just switching for audio, it's no big deal. Um, the chips that they are using have no internal switching regulators. All voltages are supplied by statement grade linear power supply. So let me talk about this a little bit. Inuos' top of the line unit is called the statement. It's, it's their best server slash um, a streamer. And everything that they know how to do at the highest level, they put it into the statement. Um, so the power supply in here is derived from what they use in the statement. Massive network isolation transformers to further isolate noise from router or connected devices. So again, I talked earlier about how they are obsessive about reducing noise. Um, high quality ethernet ports, I showed you just now about how they're metal and they're so well made. Also, as with a typical switch, you will notice that there are blinking lights. Look at your router, there's blinking lights. Um, there are no blinking lights whatsoever. That's because um, that introduces noise. Um, they've got special EMI absorption in strategically uh, in strategic places on the board. Increased clocking precision and stability. It uses the same 25 megahertz oven crystal oscillator um, as in the statement. So um, again, they, they, a lot of what is done in the statement is found in here. And the oscillator uses its own power supply. Two, lin two independent linear power supplies 
uh, with Mundorf capacitors. So um, many of you may know that Mundorf makes exotic, very expensive parts uh, and some of the top manufacturers of speakers and electronics use them. So you will find Mundorf in here and they power the clock and the main board. Uh, Anti-vibration feed tuned to the resonant frequency of the chassis. Oh, so, the, so I mentioned earlier about the feet. So these feet apparently are tuned to remove uh, or dissipate the vibrations which are uh, similar to the uh, chassis resonance. And top cover treatment. So apparently they've treated the top cover as well. Um, one Ethernet input, three outputs. Price is $45.49 Canadian or $34.99 US. Now, I haven't tried this uh, street, uh, this switch yet, so I'm anxious to see how it works. As I said, we've used some wonderful, really, really good um, switches before, and um, uh, uh, I'm anxious to see how this compares with the other one that we had previously that was very, very expensive. All right, uh, that's it for now. We'll do a follow-up in the future in terms of a review and let you know what we think. Take care, everyone. Adrian from Audix, and see you later. Bye-bye.